kids, Miss Shaw here, gonna do some kitchen chemistry. But before we begin, just wanna say safety first. Even though all these items are found in your kitchen, well, you need to usually wear, when we're doing science, safety glasses. Maybe you can find a pair around the house. Or maybe just even a cool pair of sunglasses, huh? I'm gonna wear the safety glasses. All right, so today we are going to do a kitchen chemistry lab uh, telling, uh, looking for signs of a chemical reaction. So there are five things we're going to be looking for that signs of a chemical reaction. One, a production of an odor. An odor is a new smell. Uh, we, we're going to be using a couple ingredients. You know what they smell like, but you're looking for something new. The combination makes a new smell. Two, change in the temperature. Uh, the, uh, the vessel or the chemicals get hotter or colder. And we're going to do a whole separate lab on that tomorrow. Changing in a color of the ingredients. Maybe formation of bubbles. And the other thing would be sometimes the formation of a, a solid, but we're mixing solids and liquids, so that's not gonna be uh, applicable here. All right, so let's take a look at what we have for our lab for our ingredients. Everything um, that you can find in your kitchen, hopefully, you can use sugar. It can be regular sugar, convection sugar. You can use baking, pow baking soda or baking powder. You can use flour. If you have this kind of flour, you can use it. We're gonna use regular old salt. Again, these are not advertisements for any of these products. These are just what you find in your kitchen. If you're missing something and you find another one, maybe cornstarch, that's another thing you could possibly use. And for today, we're gonna to be also be using water and vinegar. So if you've downloaded your uh, lab sheet over here, you can see um, every, the, the directions are all right there and that you will fill in your lab sheet after making these observations, okay? This is definitely something you can do on your own at home. I'm gonna do it here, but I'm not gonna tell you the results. You would have to observe this video very carefully in order to see what's happening. So I've set up an ice cube tray. In the lab, it'd be called a spot plate, but we don't have lab materials here, so we'll just use what we have. And I've set it up as you see on your lab sheet. Uh, I, I messed up the sugar, it was supposed to go here, but uh, so I put um, a little bit of sugar, just a tiny little bit, like the size of an M&M or a Skittle. I used a quarter of a teaspoon, putting it in two different slots. Same with the baking soda, same with the flour, same with the salt. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna use a teaspoon. I don't have a professional teaspoon, so I'm just gonna use a regular kitchen teaspoon of water. And I'm gonna add it carefully to each each one of these. One, two, three, four. And then you can use something to stir it with. You could use the end of plastic material. You could use a toothpick. I've been ordering a lot of Chinese food. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna just use the end of a Chinese of a stick and see what's happening here. Now you need to use a new stick for each item. This stick is going to go into a, like my coffee cup here now that I'm basically done mixing this together. All right, going on to the next one, which is our baking soda and water. Stirring, stirring, stirring. We started with a clear liquid and white powders. And what are we ending up with? We're gonna go back through and look at it again when we're all done. Stirring, stirring, stirring. I feel like it's mostly mixed in now. All right, here's another one. This is our flour and water. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Having a hard time getting these two mixed, actually. Hmm. And I'll tell you right now, um, since you can't smell, I'm not smelling anything new on any of these. All right, and our last little one here, we have salt and water. Mixing, mixing, mixing. So we started with white powders and clear water. And what have we ended up with? all again with vinegar, all right? So I have vinegar in a little cup here. 
that I already poured out, and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the water, but this one is going to be vinegar. So, ready? That was sugar and vinegar. Let's do baking soda and vinegar. Whoa. All right, that was exciting. Let's do the flour and vinegar. And we'll do the salt and vinegar. All right, so I'm gonna check out if I need to stir any more here. Let's go back over to the sugar and vinegar. Stirring. We'll go to the baking soda and vinegar. Can you hear it? Yeah. We'll go to the flour and vinegar. How's that gonna work? And finally, the salt and the vinegar. Let's see what happens here. So let's pan up and take a bigger view of this and see what you observe. All right, I think let's just pan up a little further so they can see the water and vinegar here. All right, take a mental snapshot of what you're seeing, fill out your lab sheet, and don't forget to submit that to Canvas for your today's assignment. Thanks kids, bye-bye.